Hey, it's Matt from Reliant K, and you're watching ARTV. Isn't that cool? What's up, everyone? John from ARTV. It's time for a concert review of the Mmm -hmm Tour, the 10th anniversary tour, to be exact. Reliant K, Matt Thiessen, Matt Hoops, really the only remaining founding members. Of course, we did get Dave Douglas back on this tour, which was incredible. Love that dude's drumming style. You might have heard him on some of their earlier records, including Mm Hmm. I think that was his final record. Actually, I think he might have recorded Five Score and Seven Years Ago. Anyways, I was just excited to see him back behind the kit. A live show, they had a couple of opening bands uh, from Indian Lakes, and of course, Blonde Fire. I interviewed Erica from Blonde Fire about a year ago. They're still playing their same set list, so uh, I found that relatively boring. From the Indian Lakes didn't really impress me all that much, although I thought that they kept a good groove going, and I'll give them that. But I'm here to review Reliant K's part of the concert. The headliners, of course. They played the entire Mm Hmm album front to back in order and they just blazed through it. I thought it was awesome. It had just kind of like, it was like a live album. There wasn't that much chatter in between. I would have maybe liked a little bit of more interaction with the fans, but the thing is they were cool. They mixed up a few things. They said a few things here and there that were pretty funny to the crowd during the mm-hmm section of the set list and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, overall, I think the best performances of the night were probably uh, Be My Escape. Obviously, if you'd like to see the video for that that I took, a link down below. Uh, I think another highlight for me was More Than Useless, because that was just such an important song to me growing up. If you watched my review of Mm Hmm, you know uh, what an important album that was in kind of shaping my musical taste. One of the first albums I was ever allowed to own. I say allowed because I snuck around and bought stuff anyways but my parents actually approved Reliant K. I was actually FaceTiming with my mom and I told her that I saw Reliant K and she was like, oh yeah, you've loved them forever. And I was like, yeah, you actually remember Reliant K. It was just really cool to see things coming full circle and me meeting after the show, of course, some of my personal heroes growing up. Matt Thiessen was just always someone I looked up to lyrically. I love the way that this dude writes. I think I got kind of overwhelmed at a few parts because I felt tears coming to my eyes just remembering some of the moments that I've had with some of these songs, whether it be I So Hate Consequences, where the end of that song, the piano-led outro, just really tugs at me as, well, I am a religious person, and that's just one that kind of keeps me in check and reminds me that I can't always keep running. I have to have consequences, and I think that's true for everyone, religious or not. Matt Thiessen's vocals sound incredible. Incredibly good. They sound like so fresh. Me and my friend Caleb that I went to the show with were both commenting that he just sounded almost identical to how he sounds in the studio and how he sounded 10 years ago. If you look up a live performance, I actually looked up a live performance of them on Letterman back when Mm Hmm came out. And you can't really tell that much difference. He takes good care of his vocals, and that leads me to the next part. A lot of you guys know I asked you on Facebook and Twitter if you wanted me to get an interview with the band. Of course, I tried, and I talked to Thiessen himself, obviously. You can see pictures here on the screen. I talked to Thiessen himself and his tour manager, and Thiessen is on vocal rest. As good as he sounded live, apparently he's been having some trouble with sickness and that sort of thing, and they're not wanting him to really use his voice other than when he's performing, which is understandable, and with only a few weeks left, you don't want to just end on a sour note, so I totally understand that, but I appreciate that Matt Thiessen was obviously cool enough to let me talk to him. Same with Dave Douglas, and of course Matt Hoops, I talked to all of them individually and I think it was great to chat with them and here is what I can tell you from chatting with the guys there's new material in the work uh, they played a new song live there's chemistry between Dave and the guys again so whether that means he's gonna be in the band full-time or not I can't guarantee it but it's looking likely from what I've seen and heard from them and he's really enjoying himself out on the road. He told me it had been seven years since the last time he had performed with them prior to doing this tour and that they had stayed friends through all of that time and the things had never really been that bad, tensions had never risen really between them and it was just his choice to step away. Getting back to the show itself, after they played the entire Mm Hmm album, they walked off stage, of course, you know, everyone cheering for them to come back. I thought maybe they would play 
one or two more songs. No, they whipped out like six more songs, just kind of spanning their entire career. They played Mood Rings, Sadie Hawkins Dance, Sahara, and a couple of other tracks. Just really, like I said, everything as old as Mood Rings and as new as Don't Blink. They played a new song live as well. So it was just a really, really thoroughly entertaining and engaging show. Don't be afraid to go to shows, guys. Don't be afraid to go out there and be yourself. Feel the music and just get in rhythm with it. Get in the groove. Don't focus on your phone the whole time. I took a few videos. I took one video of an entire song, Be My Escape, just to kind of try out my iPhone 6 Plus and see how the camera did on it. And apparently you guys, from the feedback I got, said you really liked it. So like I said, that's linked down below. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. All the links are down there in the description. I hope you enjoyed my concert review. Easily a five out of five for me and one of the top five concert experiences I've ever had. If you've been to a Reliant K show before or if you were at the one I was at in Saxophone, North Carolina, then let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. If you're from Saxophone, more power to you. I thought I was in the middle of the country somewhere. I, I was just seeing barns and farms everywhere and I was like, am I in the right place or no? Anyways, guys, smash that like button, and I'll see you very soon right here on Beyond ARTV, Beyond the Reviews. All I was trying to do was save my own skin. Oh, but so are you.